hello everyone and we got something new here today we have a new group build that I was invited to and pretty pretty happy to be a part of very happy to be a part of um, got contacted by time riders we little cars and Polly from Fat Man Productions, and they are doing public safety vehicles for this build. And they invited me to join them, and I'm very honored to be a part of this. And this, what we have here, is something from my childhood. This is not one of my original ones, but it's a favorite from my childhood. I had one just like it. It's a 1974. Hot Wheels Redline rescue truck. Um, it's based off the Dodge. It looks almost just like this, these Dodge Super Vans, as you can see. They both carry the same front end. And what's funny is, they, they this is a later model, of course, but the original ones look like this. They almost have the same bumpers on the back. So. We are going to be restoring this to 100%, with making it look beautiful. Got a little bit of a bend in the A pillar. Seems like I always have bends in the A pillars on all my vehicles that I do. That's not a big deal. This one's special to me because when I was a kid, I was fascinated with the show Emergency, as a lot of kids were. They grew up in the 70s. You know, they drove one that was very similar to this. Almost probably Hot Wheels got the idea from it. Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto drove out of Squad 51 in Los Angeles, and which the station is still there today. And the actual rescue vehicle that they had and the engine are in a museum out there. I can't think right where it is, but... One day I'd like to go see that. And but for this one here, it's as close as I can get to the original. I know they I knew Hot Wheels made a version of that later on. I have one upstairs somewhere. And we are going to do a nice straight up restoration. I have my decals, replacement decals from Second Chance Red Lines. You can find him on eBay. He's got lots of good stuff, as as does the Redline Shop. He has a lot of great decals, too, for these 70s enamels, as I like to call them. So, with that much said, let's go ahead and take this apart. Stay tuned. Alrighty, here we are with all our disassembled bits and pieces to this little emergency vehicle. Um... As you can see, the casting's in pretty good shape. Does have a pillar issue here, and possibly just a touch of a pillar in pushed in there. Maybe the roof just a little bit. I'll have to do, I'll have to check all that once once I get it stripped down and fix that. Our uh, I saved you the. The, the boringness of me tapping these out so I just did it on I always do it on off camera to save time on my videos I'm trying to shorten them up just a touch our interior very simple 70s Hot Wheels but it's in very good condition we'll just be doing a cleaning and a polishing this is your plastic insert for your tanks your hoses and the lights that's all in good shape just to maybe we'll clean that up and maybe even give it a dunk in the furniture polish just to give it an extra flare and our base the front bumper is not in bad shape a lot of these plastic ones get beat the hell and back along here with kids you know just pushing them around and banging them off stuff so it's all in pretty good shape I'll just do some monochrome pin or what that chrome pin stuff on here and even remarkably where did the other one go there it is our red lines are in really good condition there's a few little you know 
little nicks in them. And there was two flat spots right there. I don't know whether it's set against something. Where did the focus go? Yeah, right along the edge there, if I could ever get this thing to focus. Uh, but I filed them down. And I'm going to just clean these up. I think they'll look just fine. And I noticed on this one that it had both bigs on front and back versus some of the other models, which I have one laying around here. I don't know where it is. Has the, the, the medium size on the front and the large on the back. So, and it came like that. So we're going to put it back together that way. So I'm going to take this over here and strip it and we'll get back to work. Okay, here we are. You now in the past, you know that we sit here and we watch the paint lift, but I'm going to try to shorten these videos a little. You've all seen me do this a million times, so I'm going to do Time Rider's uh, way of doing it. We're just going to do this. And I'll see you back at the workbench. Stay tuned. Okay, here we're back. Did a little bit of cleaning on the body, fixed the roof pillars, straightened up it, straightened that all up so it's all ready and the windows fit pretty decent. And did a little bit of sanding, a little bit of steel wool on it, and just overall gave it a good cleaning. It was kind of beat up a little bit, so I massaged it the best I could. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our old tried and true Tamiya white primer and this Tamiya X7 red. That's, that's about as close as you possibly get to what it was. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are. We're back with our nicely freshly dried rescue, emergency rescue truck very close resemblance to the one in the show emergency might I add I have my decals here very nicely done from second chance red lines it's kind of hard to see with the backing on it like that but we're going to lay those down on this and you can get the same ones if you ever wanted to redo one of these off of eBay on this vendor here. I buy a lot of their decals and I really like them. They work really well, nice and thin and they, they lay down really well. So stay tuned. I'm not going to film me putting the decals on because I don't work good under pressure. So I just take my time and it, plus it would be like a 20 minute video. So we're trying to cut these things down to make them shorter. So stay tuned to see what it looks like when we're done. Alrighty and we are back. I got the decals applied. I kind of want to wait till the reveal so you can get the full effect. This has got typical 70s, early 70s tinted window, a lot like the super vans had. Except I don't I can't remember whether they had front seats or not. Probably did. This is the uh, where the hoses are and the oxygen tanks and the lights on the front. And we'll just give that a good cleaning along with the windshield. Now I was thinking the wheels for this was really, really nice, but I wanted to go a little bit extra and give it kind of a real riders treatment. I got this really cool 67 or 66. What year is that? Well, it's a 67 GTO, which is a very cool car in itself. And but not as a police car. It's usually a GTO would be on the other side of the police. So what I planned on doing with this, and I, you'll see this in the upcoming month. But I'm going to use these real riders, and I'm going to do do something special to make them look a little bit more correct. But they are a red line, so and they are and they are Hot Wheels wheels. So I think I'm going to put them on this thing. So stay tuned to see what I do with this. Okay, here we are with our bits and pieces to the emergency vehicle for public safety 
root build. Here's our nice shiny rescue truck body. Turned out really nice. Got a nice shine to it. And I'm not going to show you the decals yet because then you wouldn't have anything to look forward to in the reveal. And we also have the body done with our real riders that I put on here. I just did some minor uh, minor details to the front with some amber lights and some headlights and gave the bottom a nice new coat of chrome with the chrome pen. And we don't we cleaned this up and cleaned those lights up. They were a little bit rough. And we gave it a nice mop and glow bath. And the same for the windshield. There's one little tiny nick in the windshield I couldn't get out. I kept buffing and buffing and sanding. And I didn't want to take it too far. So we ended up just having a nice little sheen on it. These 70s windows just don't polish up like the old hard plastic ones do. These soft plastic ones give you a little bit of a fit. So it's better to put them in the mop and glow or whatever furniture polish you have that you use. So, how's it look, buddy? You're good. Okay. Stay tuned and let's put this baby together and we'll have the review. Here's just a quick look back at what we had when we first got started this project. It's been a lot of fun. Um, but as you can see, it wasn't, wasn't too terribly bad, but it had lots and lots of play on it. This thing's been loved. Went on, probably went on a lot of calls with another fire engine or something as a kid. Had a little bit of a bent A pillar and it just overall needed to be re restored. And I also noticed that the, so I guess when they riveted it down, it's kind of sprung. So that was another thing that was bothering me. So with that being said, let's take a look at what we got now. And this is what we have. We have a beautifully restored 1974 Hot Wheels Redline emergency rescue truck with upgraded Redline wheels painted in red to honor the old show with Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto emergency from the early 70s that I used to watch and love as a child. Um, yeah, of course, that one didn't have side pipes and it had dual wheels in the back. But, and it was number 51, of course. But this is as close as I could get to it. And it made a cool emergency, emergency truck here from Hot Wheels. Of course, I had this to play with and the fire truck to play with. So they would run my fire calls. And... Like I say, this was a lot of fun to build, this little public safety group build with make sure that you go over, if you haven't already, to go to Time Riders, We Little Cars, and check out what he's done for this group build of public safety vehicles. And go check out Polly over at Fat Man Productions because he's got something I'm sure that's going to be spectacular and knock your socks off. So... This is kind of like a midweek thing for us, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you this weekend.